the miracle on the Hudson. On the morning of January 15, 2009, LaGuardia Airport in New York City was buzzing with the usual activity of a busy travel day. Among the many flights preparing for takeoff was US Airways Flight 1549, an Airbus A320 destined for Charlotte, North Carolina. The passengers on board ranged from business professionals to families and individuals embarking on new adventures, each with their own unique stories and destinations. Unbeknownst to them, their flight would soon become one of the most remarkable tales of survival and heroism in aviation history. As the aircraft began its ascent into the crisp, clear skies above New York, the routine nature of the flight was abruptly shattered. Just three minutes into the journey, a flock of Canada geese appeared out of nowhere, colliding with the plane's engines. The force of the impact was devastating. Both engines were immediately disabled, and the plane began to lose altitude rapidly. Inside the cockpit, Captain Chesley Sully, Sullenberger, and First Officer Jeffrey Skiles quickly realized the severity of the situation. Alarms blared and warning lights flashed, indicating a dual engine failure a scenario that is every pilot's worst nightmare. Captain Sullenberger, a veteran pilot with over 40 years of experience, took control of the aircraft with a calm demeanor that belied the gravity of the situation. He and Skiles swiftly went through the emergency procedures, attempting to restart the engines. Meanwhile, they communicated with air traffic control, relaying their dire predicament. The possibility of returning to LaGuardia or diverting to Teterboro Airport in New Jersey was considered, but it quickly became apparent that they didn't have enough altitude or power to make it to either airport safely. In those critical moments, Captain Zellenberger made a decision that would define the fate of everyone on board. With the plane continuing to lose altitude and densely populated areas below, he determined that the best chance for survival was an emergency water landing on the Hudson River. This decision, unprecedented and incredibly risky, would soon be hailed as an act of extraordinary courage and skill. Inside the cabin, passengers were initially unaware of the full extent of the danger. The loud bang and subsequent engine failure had caused some alarm, but it wasn't until the plane began its rapid descent that the gravity of the situation became clear. Flight attendants, trained for such emergencies, moved quickly to prepare the passengers for an imminent water landing. Their voices, though calm, carried an urgent tone as they instructed everyone to brace for impact. As the plane descended towards the river, a tense silence fell over the cabin. Some passengers held hands, others whispered prayers, and many braced themselves against their seats, hoping for the best but fearing the worst. The view from the windows was a blur of cityscape and water as the aircraft approached the Hudson. The impact, when it came, was sudden and violent. The plane struck the water with tremendous force, sending shockwaves through the fuselage. Despite the jarring collision, the aircraft remained largely intact, a testament to both the skill of the pilots and the engineering of the Airbus A320. Inside, passengers were jolted, but alive their immediate fear giving way to a desperate need to escape the freezing water, now rushing into the cabin. Captain Sullenberger and his crew worked quickly and efficiently, directing the evacuation with remarkable composure. Passengers, some injured and all terrified, followed the crew's instructions, exiting the plane onto its wings and inflatable life rafts. The icy waters of the Hudson were a shock to their systems but survival instinct kicked in, driving them to escape the sinking aircraft. As the passengers and crew struggled to stay afloat in the frigid river, help was already on the way. The waters of New York City, usually bustling with commercial and recreational traffic, suddenly became a scene of heroic rescue efforts. Ferry operators, tugboat captains and emergency responders, alerted to the crisis, converged on the downed aircraft with impressive speed. These everyday heroes navigated the icy waters with skill, pulling survivors from the river and bringing them to safety. The rescue operation was a marvel of coordination and bravery. Within minutes, passengers were being hoisted onto rescue boats, 
their soaked and shivering bodies wrapped in blankets and life jackets. The cold was biting, but the relief of being alive and the warmth of human compassion provided a powerful counterbalance. Back on shore, the unfolding drama captured the attention of the world. News helicopters circled overhead, broadcasting live footage of the rescue operation. The images of a partially submerged aircraft, passengers huddled on its wings, and boats swarming to their aid were seared into the collective consciousness. Across the globe, people watched in awe as the story of Flight 1549 played out in real time, a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the resilience of the human spirit. As the last passenger was pulled from the icy waters, the full magnitude of what had been achieved became clear. Against all odds, all 155 people on board had survived. The media quickly dubbed the event the miracle on the Hudson, a testament to the extraordinary combination of skill, luck, and human bravery that had turned a potential catastrophe into a story of hope and survival. In the days and weeks that followed, the story of Flight 1549 and its miraculous landing on the Hudson River became a global sensation. Captain Sullenberger, in particular, was celebrated as a hero, his calm demeanor and decisive actions credited with saving countless lives. Yet, in his characteristic humility, Sully deflected much of the praise, emphasizing the collective effort that had made the rescue possible. He highlighted the teamwork of his crew, the professionalism of the air traffic controllers, and the bravery of the rescue workers who had risked their own lives to save others. The miracle on the Hudson is more than just a dramatic tale of survival. It is a profound lesson in human resilience and the extraordinary things ordinary people can achieve in the face of adversity. It underscores the importance of preparation and training, as Captain Sullenberger's extensive experience and calm under pressure were instrumental in the successful outcome. It also highlights the critical role of teamwork and quick thinking, from the coordinated efforts of the flight crew to the swift response of the rescuers. For the passengers of Flight 1549, the experience was life-changing. Many spoke of a newfound appreciation for life and a deeper sense of gratitude. Their shared ordeal forged bonds that transcended the trauma of that day, creating a community of survivors who would forever be connected by their remarkable story. The legacy of the miracle on the Hudson indoors, as a beacon of hope and a testament to the indomitable human spirit. It serves as a reminder that even in the darkest moments, there is potential for light, and that with courage, quick thinking, and collective effort, we can overcome seemingly insurmountable odds. The story of Flight 1549 continues to inspire and uplift a powerful narrative of heroism, resilience, and the enduring power of hope. Thanks for watching.